Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to properly plane your flat iron. You can see here all the yucky gunk that has built up over some time. I haven't cleaned this flat iron in a while. It's on both sides there. You can see it's kind of like on the side of the plates. And then here you can see that I've already cleaned this side. It's good to go. No gunk, no yuckiness, no residue. And um, the first thing you're going to need is your rubbing alcohol, um, just regular rubbing alcohol. You're going to need a cotton ball. And you will also need a Q-tip. That's to get in between those plates really well. You can use a toothpick for that as well if you like. Here you can see the disgusting cotton swabs that I've used already to clean the first plate. Yuck. So you're just going to take your rubbing alcohol and you're going to put it nice, just like dab it five times or so, four or five times to get the alcohol on there. And be sure and close your alcohol back after you finish because I always knock things over when I'm even if I'm not recording a video, I just tend to knock things over. So you're going to take your cotton ball and then you just want to begin to rub that all over the area that has um, the damage. Or not really the damage, but just the leftover residue from your heat protectants and hairsprays, whatever you use when you flat iron your hair. And you can see there that it's coming off really well. I'm not having to use a lot of elbow grease to get this off. Um, some little spots may require a little more pressure to get them off just because it's been on there longer. Um, and then you're just going to do that on the other side as well. Clean your plate, the flat part of your plate also if it's on there. And you're just going to keep on getting that off of there. Uh, I don't, don't want to say scrubbing because um, you don't want to use anything to scrub your flat iron because you will definitely damage it. So that's why we use the cotton swabs. And then if you need some more alcohol, you can just dab some more on there on your q-tip as well to kind of get in those grooves and then you just keep on cleaning and it's just going to come right off. Um, it's really good to clean your plates at least once a week. That's if you flat iron frequently. I don't. Um, I flat iron honestly on average maybe three times a year um, and I always like to flat iron my hair. I always love the end result but it's just really time consuming and it's not that healthy for your hair if you do it every day or you know on a weekly basis. Um, and don't get me wrong, you can, you know, but you've got to use some really good thermal protectants. Um, and that's just what I like to do. So you can see here that I'm continuing to clean. I, I did need a little more elbow grease for the other plate. Um, and I'm not scrubbing with my nail. It kind of looks like I am there, but there's still cotton underneath where my nail is. I just needed some extra pressure to get some of that stuff off. But really, guys, this is just it. It's so simple. Alcohol works. Um, some people do use peroxide mixed in with baking soda, and you can use that. Um, it takes a little longer to use the baking soda and peroxide, um, so, and I don't like that. It, it's, it's, it's more messy. Um, this is really simple. It's quick. It's easy, um, and it works. So it comes right off. You can see it didn't take a long time. It didn't take a lot of effort <laughs> to get off, and you should do this, you know, maybe once a week, like I said, if you flat iron your hair that frequently, or... As you start to see the buildup come, look at those plates, you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy that they're clean now. I can flat iron my hair without it smelling awful. <laughs> and this is the end result. So thanks for watching, guys.